This video is sponsored by the Glory Collective. Apparel, accessories, and prints. Use promo code GLORYBEARD15 to get 15% off all purchases. The Glory Collective, for the seekers. Hi guys, welcome to Beard's Eye View, and this is going to be my spoiler talk video for Shazam. Spoilers all the way through here guys, if you haven't seen the film yet, make sure you put this in your watch list and go see the film and then watch this later on. I have got a spoiler free review, it gives my rough overall and the star rating which you can click above, you can watch that. But this is spoilers all the way through, you've been warned. The Seven Deadly Sins thing, I didn't mind it, I, 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 I didn't expect that to be something they were adding in there, it's these seven deadly things that control the, the villain and everything and that's ultimately what Shazam is taking on. Um, and so there was a couple of times I was thinking, like, these monsters are quite scary for a kid, it's quite creepy. There's even times like that, when that woman gets vaporised near the start of the film, uh, that happened, I was like, that's creepy for me at 30. So if someone watching that at 12, he'd be like, whoa, you know what I mean, it was a little bit jarring sometimes. And swearing in this film. I think I heard the word shit four times. I mean, it's meant to be a 12 is isn't it? I thought there's only like a couple of times you can say that kind of stuff, but they had it in quite a few I mean, there's even a point where Santa was swearing and saying the word fuck four or five times, but they bleeped it out, but you know what he's saying. As I said in my spoiler free review, the chemistry between Shazam, Billy Batson and Freddy is just absolutely brilliant. When they're figuring out their powers and doing all the tests, I love that entire scene where they've got Don't Stop Me Now by Queen and you just, you've got the paper coming up in front of the screen. This is the test, flight test, and they're trying it out. Electrocution, super strength. I love that entire sequence. It was so much fun to figure out these other powers. All the while with Freddy being this massive like superhero nut. He loves Aquaman, Superman, and Batman, and Wonder Woman. And he's trying to figure out whether Shazam can do any of the things that they can do and it's brilliant I mean and then it fast forwards to like where they're in the shop and then they take on the bad guys and they throw them out the window and oh that was a lot of fun I mean again we saw bits of this in the trailer but they kind of put it around with the Queen song and everything and that just I think it worked nicely I do like the relationship with Billy and Freddie of course but I, I, I like the fact that he's got a relationship with these other orphan kids that are in this house and at the start he's reluctant he doesn't like it and over time he builds it up and he realises what it's like to be family. Um, this whole thing based around him being lost from his mum at this fairground and he just thought he got lost and she never found him, he never found her and he's been searching for ages. Um, and when it gets to the point where he finds his mum, because one of the orphan kids does the search and finds where his mum is, uh, his dad's in prison and he goes to find his mum and that whole moment, they gave it the time here, he finds his mum she go, you know. She opens the door. She obviously after he tells her who who he is, she's not as kind of overwhelmed and happy that I, he was kind of expecting. She basically said that she saw that he was lost, sitting on the hood of this police car, and she bailed. She thought that the policeman or someone else can do a better job, and she bailed. So he's not getting the result that he wanted, and they're figuring out that she's not doing so well herself with this, by the sounds of it, abusive boyfriend that's in in the uh, flat that she's in and suddenly just realising it's, it's nothing that he wanted and his real family is with these kids and these people that are looking after the kids and Freddie and that whole thing that whole section was just it really hits you in the feels of like how he's dealing with what, who he is as a character and a person he just wants to be loved and wants to be a family but he's, he's looking at the wrong angle and then he realises where he should be yeah the whole intro with it basically sets up the bad guy it's the same thing with Shazam, where you, you you're being asked to be become Shazam, and he's in the in the car, and then he becomes goes into the little, the realm where the Shazam guy is, and he fails. He said he's never worthy. He goes back, the car crashes, and almost kills his dad and his brother, who don't get on with him. They take the piss out of him, wind him up, and they're horrible to him. And then they get hit by um, another car as well, and his, his dad almost dies. That kind of transitions into later on when he gets his powers from the Seven Sins. He goes and visits him in the boardroom, kills all the people, throws his brother out the window, and then just lets one of the beasts kill his dad, even though he's disabled and everything. Just, oh, it's evil. Again, it's like, it's stock villain stuff, but it, the, just the fact that he just, I think the bit, my favourite bit was the fact that he just threw his brother out the window and just said, Outlook, not, not good, which is what it says in his, like, Magic 8, but, ah. Oh, that, that, was, that was some good writing, I think. One thing I didn't expect, which I didn't give away in the trailers, is how Billy kind of gets over this abuse of power type thing being Shazam. He starts posing for photographs and doing like lightning tricks and everything while people are paying him to do it and starts to become too big for his boots. And that's where him and Freddy kind of have an altercation and 
that's what I again I like it. It builds up that relationship quite well. You've always got to have an altercation to figure out who you are as people. That worked really well. I liked that because with the bus crash, when he catches the bus, that was all his doing. And everything. That's how him and Freddie end up having an argument. It's like he's happy he's caught the bus, but Freddie's like, "Well, you caused that." And that, and then obviously it's straight from there that the villain gets introduced and they start having a fight and everything, and everything carries on. But yeah, I, I like how they've. You know, you, at the end of the day, they realise that he's a 15-year-old kid. Of course he's going to abuse his powers when he's got that kind of stuff. Wouldn't we all, when we're that young and impressionable and naive? Of course you would. I do like that little moment that they hark back to with the film Big. As I've said before, it's big with superpowers. When they're having a fight in a, in a toy store, they're running over this floor piano and everything. It's a very small moment, but it's clear and obvious that they're talk, thinking about Big there. And I like when films add that kind of stuff in. Mark Strong's villain ends up capturing the kids, including Freddy, and like, when he jumps off, just shazam, and off he goes. That's awesome. And he goes to save them. They go back into the realm, and then they... Basically, he's trying to basically get the power out of Shazam and give it to him by saying it into the staff, and it gives him the full abilities that he so craves. Um, and then the kids get involved as well. They're all there, and then they're freaking useless. They go on the run, and then he follows them. They go to a massive last battle in this, like... Um, Massive like winter like Wonderland like rides and everything like a, a Coney Island type thing. That that was again a lot of fun. I'm kind of glad that they used the kids a lot more because they built them up through the film with this relationship. And then to do what they did, as I'll get into in a moment, I, I think was a lot of fun. It was a very good payoff. Yeah, they find out that the, the way to defeat him is to get all the seven sins out of him so he can remove the power from him and uh, one staying in there to make sure that doesn't happen. So that's the whole point of the final battle. But the, the, the brilliant thing that I love is what he does. He gets the staff off him, all hands on deck, and they all hold on to the thing and shout Shazam. Well, they shout Billy first and nothing happens, which is pretty funny. And then they shout Shazam and all the kids become basically shit their own version of a Shazam. And that's brilliant. I thought it was great, just because, like I said, you've built these characters up through the film to have a, they're all their own personalities and everything, and building up the, the relationship with Billy Batson, and then for them all to get the same powers and everything, and then Freddy, when he so craves to have that kind of power, and getting that power, then they're all taking on the, the, the sin monsters, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's, it's bubblegum, superhero, cheesy fun. And I loved every second of it. When he finally gets the power out of him as well, because he kind of goads Envy into finally coming out of the guy and then basically rounds up, rounds them all up and destroys them and that's it, job done, pulls the thing out of his eye and then that dude obviously goes to prison. The the kind of ending, it's kind of got two endings. It's, it finishes off with the family where they're all together and it's all hands on deck and it's just that nice little moment to round them off. They're now a unit, it's a family, that's nice. And then the final moment is because back early on, Freddy said that he was going to have Shazam come in and prove to these bullies that he knew him and it never happened and that again caused another altercation with him and Freddy um, and then it happens at the end, he comes in at the end with all of them sitting around the table and they're all shocked and everything, he's like my best friend in the world he goes I invited someone else, I hope you don't mind and you just see Superman walk in obviously it's not Henry Cavill because you never see his face but you just he goes up to the torso and as soon as Freddy sees he goes <gasps> and that's the end and that, I just, that's Hilarious! I don't know how he got hold of Superman or how he got his number or anything like that, but just that fun ending. Again, it just it feel feels right. It felt right for this film. End credit scenes. Um, both of them for me, not knowing the character too much and the backstory and the history and everything, it were both kind of pretty pointless. The last one was a bit of a fun one, but the first one was the dude in prison marking all this stuff up, and then the this little caterpillar thing that was in the the room the entire time, I don't know why they kept going back to it, and then he was there talking to him saying we're going to have fun, blah blah blah, and so there's another way of getting magic and that's it. I'm assuming that's going towards something to do with Black Adam, but I really can't tell at this point. I sat there going, I, I have no idea, not a clue. And then the uh, second one was, it's not really worth staying for to be honest, it's funny but it's not worth staying for. Um, he's basically trying to talk to a fish in a, go in a, in a goldfish bowl pretending that he can and then realise that I, I can't talk to fish, it's, it's a useless power anyway and they're doing another test and they're testing to see if he can do what Aquaman can do and he's like yeah well can you, it's a pretty useless power anyway, goes, yeah but you can summon a horde of like sea people and everything he goes yeah alright and that's it, that's all it is, it's just a little bit of fun 
You could have just added that into the film and just have one post credit scene, to be honest. So, again, it's kind of pointless, really. As I said, I enjoyed Shazam. I think it was a lot of fun. Uh, yes, it had its bad points, it had its stock villain, it had a couple of moments that were a bit ridiculous or maybe a bit too cheesy, but there was other parts that worked very, very well. Um, and it does have a lot of potential for the future. It's showing that DC are doubling down on going for a more fun and light-hearted entertainment rather than going dark and grim and I'm glad they're doing that because it worked well with Wonder Woman and Aquaman uh, the lightheartedness that they do interject into Justice League works well and they've really gone for it with Shazam and I'm glad they have and I, I'm actually looking forward to seeing where they go next fingers crossed they bring Black Adam into it because I'd like to see that villain uh, but yeah, overall, fun time at the cinema. Definitely recommend going and see it. So that's my spoiler talk for Shazam. What did you think of the movie? Let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me in the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, MeWe and Amino. Just type in Beards Eye View anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. And I'll see you soon.